WVUA 23's Jabari Pruitt joins us live. And Jabari, what happened? Well, Tamika, the cold temperatures burst three water lines at Northridge High School, which flooded one wing and left a lot of damage behind. This was the scene at Northridge High School Wednesday. Workers trying to repair three water lines that burst after Tuesday night's frigid temperatures, which flooded one whole section of the school. They found water pouring out of the ceiling and uh, water was everywhere on the floor. Found this morning when we arrived, found a bursted three quarter copper water line. Jerry Moreland says the water ran inside the school for nearly 15 hours. Our, our folks caught it early enough that it, it was not um, terrible, but, but a significant amount of flooding. Um, it, it impacted about 12 classrooms on a, one entire wing of the school, uh, part of the gym area, and um, another little part next to our auditorium. Not the entire auditorium, but three separate areas. It's a two-story part of the building, so in one of the breaks uh, on the second floor, the water went down. So there's some, some damage to some ceiling areas, so we're having to replace the insulation and the ceiling tile. Um, and then we had one part, which is where our drama class is held in the props and the, um, all, all the, from, from the drama course. So we're having to pull all that out and get it dry cleaned and taken care of. Tuscaloosa City Schools Superintendent Dr. Mike Daria says for the next several days, Work crews will be working to clean up the water and fix the problem before the start of school Monday. Darius says Thursday, teachers will return to work from the Christmas break, but says it won't be an issue because they will be in meetings most of the day in other parts of the school. We will make it work. We'll get this place dried out. Um, our classrooms will be in decent shape, and we're, we're used to having to deal with impromptu situations, so we'll, we'll make it work. Now, Dr. Darius says the flooding didn't damage any other part of the building structure, and he's confident the issue will be fixed before Monday. Live tonight from the studio, Jabari Pruitt, WVUA 23 News.